Hi, welcome to my new hobbies that might be helpful. Okay, uh, the other day we moved in and we we're in a rush. And we just put the bees out and it was quick. You know, didn't put a whole lot of time into it. You see the bee box over there. You see the sun over there. We put the bee box facing the wrong way. So what we're gonna do is a quick video on how to set up your bee box. It's uh, about 35. I got I got uh I got my son with me still. It's about 35 degrees out, you say? Yeah, just about. So the bees won't be real active, uh, which is a good thing because neither one of us have a bee suit on. You feeling lucky? Hopefully so. So what's uh, what's the reason that these guys are facing the wrong way? Well, it was late, it was quick, and uh, somebody didn't use their compass properly. <laughs> and uh, you know, you want to face them east. And if you ever have a problem trying to figure out which way is east, well, just wake up early enough to see the sunrise. There you go. And you really don't need a compass. I do see one bee coming out. Huh. This might be a real short video. This would probably be a two-piece video because we're going to shut the camera off, strap down the box, and set it on the ground gently. If that goes well, we'll do part two of the video, <laughs> setting up the blocks and putting the bee box back on top. If it doesn't go really well, well, we'll do a video inside saying it didn't go very well. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, we'll be back shortly. Okay. We put the strap on successfully. We got the bees on the ground. Now, these four blocks are going to be our setup. All right. And what we're going to do is we have a level. Let's scooch around here to the level. We have a level and a shovel. Pretty simple. We're gonna level these blocks up, side to side, front to back. Front to back is gonna have a slight pitch, maybe an eighth of an inch, just so the water runs out of the beehive when it rains. And everything else should be leveled to itself. So these blocks, the two in the back will be leveled to each other, the two in the front will be leveled to each other, and the two in the front will be about an eighth of an inch lower than the two in the back. Yep. Yep. You might not be able to make it out, but there's still just the one bee that was uh well, yeah, we out got, of there. So no one we got, no one's upset yet. We got one bee coming out. Oh, we got a bunch so coming out. We got, got a some, couple friends coming. Yeah, they hit the ground, they're like, what the hell's going on? They'll be fine. Yeah. Alright, let's get to work and uh get this done. Okay. Alright, excellent. Yep, so again, we're just trying to make this leveled out a little better for the bees. So we moved some of those blocks that we were working on earlier. After checking them on the level, uh, looks like this back corner one, we're gonna have to drop out some of the earth from below it. Probably pack it down before we set up just to make sure everything's level for them. But this is the process of owning bees. Just a little guess and check here, making sure things are set up. Definitely understanding which way the sun is going is, is a huge deal. So thankfully it's pretty simple when you get up early. Now, did you say we're doing the back two ones for this or just that back corner for now? Right, we're doing the, all four. Excellent. We oh, might sure. be coming back in a little while. Yeah. They seem to be quite curious at the moment. Yeah, our buddies are flying around right now. If you can't make that out on screen. Hair. Just a hair. You can see him get nice and excited out of there, flying all over the place. Real fine tuning work here with uh, with owning bees. Got to make sure everything's exact. And the reason you want it to be pretty much level is for your honeycomb. <clears throat> they build a the honeycomb. Now, with the honeycomb, is it so it's not at a slant when yes. it's built? Yep, yep, that's exactly it. Now, would that be like an issue with the shape pattern that they make? or yep. they like to be precise. 
Interesting. Really interesting. interesting. Very interesting. Still. Oh, man. Well, we're going to cut and uh, just get a little more fine tuning and get back to you guys once we uh, got everything a little more set up. Okay. This is the tedious part. The reason we're doing this, with no suits on, it's cold out. The bees ain't very active. They're very friendly, though. How many times have you worked with bees before? Uh, this is my first, honestly. Actually, genuinely working with them other than just seeing them. Yeah, you know, it's probably about my fifth. That's nice. We are new at this. Brand new. Um, we did buy a book. I bought a book. Uh, Beekeepers for Dummies, the dummy series of books is very helpful to me. And of course, YouTube has been very helpful. And talking to beekeepers, you know, friendly bunch of chaps. Yeah, make friends at your local communities, you know. Other people who share those hobbies are gonna be very excited to let you know about their secrets. Step sideways so we can get a little sunlight in there. Uh, I just wanna show people he does do physical labor. <laughs> Something like that. All right, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, welcome back again. There we are, facing the right way, into the sun. They were orient, they'll be fine. All we did was spin them 90 degrees. So they might get a headache and get dizzy, but they'll live. Much happier too, warmer. The entrance is warm. Well, what'd you think about that? That was excellent, yeah, fantastic. Uh, glad that we did it during the colder months. We didn't have to suit up. Uh, you know, they were buzzing around for sure, but it wasn't anything crazy. Didn't uh, didn't sting. No, not one sting. And we're, what, six inches away from them? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, they're good bees so far. Yeah, a couple points they were singing in your ear for sure. Um, yeah. It's funny, I, I met a lady the other day who did a couple of bombs recently, and uh, they got some wild ones, and they said they were just outrageous. Uh, she had to requeen them, and mm -hmm. then uh, a couple weeks after that, they were real nice, so... You can definitely tell that this hive is just uh, more human friendly. Well, they got a queen, and once they, if they lose their queen, they, they lose their mind. Yeah. Uh, you can get some pheromone strips. We'll get into that later. And uh, the plan is we're going to have a string of beehives going from here to the fence. Maybe six. Hopefully, we can get six by the end of the year. Uh, start, I got two nukes coming. Maybe I can get three if I can afford it. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't have any sponsors. So if anyone wants to sponsor or I guess we could put a donation site up. Yeah. If you want to donate. Or I don't... if even you have any just sound advice on beekeeping. You know, exactly. Precautions, exactly. Definitely appreciate exactly. That. Tips. Tips are very well welcome. Um, video tips too. If you want to uh, see a video or see me try a project that you might want to try. I'm willing to do that. Yeah, stay engaged, right? Yeah, stay engaged, stay engaged. i like to give a shout out to my number one fan. Since I don't do names, uh, his name has three letters. I believe he's the, uh, the spicy Sicilian, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't want to give out too many clues, but if uh, we're doing horseshoes, that could almost be a ringer. Mm, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, great guy. Oh, extremely, extremely. Great family, great mm, family. Excellent, yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, Welcome anytime. Welcome anytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. See. Okay, so uh, we're going to go up to a museum today, I think. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. it'd be a nice time. Yeah. All right, uh, thanks again for tuning in to my new ho hobbies that might be helpful. And like I said, this is uh, we're going to do some editing on some videos. Like this one, we're going to have to piece together because we didn't go live the whole time. It had just been long and tedious. So this one will be edited. You'll figure that out when you watch it. And uh, we try not to edit. That way you see the mistakes we make and you can learn from them. Or you could see the mistakes we make and, and make them too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now you know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you know how to do it wrong. You can do it wrong or you could or you alleviate that part from it. <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah, it's going to be a great time. We're going to have we're gonna have some fun down here, up here, over yeah. here. That'd be nice. Yeah. Well, should we do a little pan of the property one more time? Uh, yeah, give him give him a nice. I'll view. give you a little little pan. Yeah, look at that. That's some some bee roaming area right there. That is, the garden is going to go right there. 
I would say, uh, go through better. that. Yeah, we got a spigot over there, so we're gonna go just on the other side and do the garden. And you better believe it. You better believe it. All right. Uh, depending on how much, how long he stays up here, we might make a little wine this weekend, or wait till next time he comes up, unless he waits too long and. Then I'm making it without him. <laughs> Wine's gonna be made. <laughs> Wine's gonna be made. No crying about it. <laughs> We're horrible with the puns today. All right, thank you again for tuning in to my new hobbies that might be helpful.